und herzlich willkommen. Wir sind heute zusammengekommen, um eine der wohl wichtigsten, weil auch einflussreichsten Gruppen in der Musikgeschichte zu feiern, die Beatles. Wer hätte schon ahnen können, als auf genau 50 Jahren, also am 17. August 1960, die vier Pilzköpfe aus Liverpool von hier aus, also im Innerer Club in Hamburg, die Musikgeschichte revolutionieren werden. Benannt nach ihrem ehemaligen Domizil, dem äh, Hamburger Kiez Kino, Bambi Kino, haben sich vier New Yorker Musiker zusammengetan, um diesen einen Augenblick vor 50 Jahren noch einmal wiederzubeleben. Last night, didn't say late Vogue home, I had a mountain dates Everybody's trying to be my baby Everybody's trying to be my baby Everybody's trying to be my baby now Fast for 15 women knocking on my door. Everybody's trying to be my baby. Everybody's trying to be my baby. Everybody's trying to be my baby now. Woo!
That's a pretty one.
little kitten But you just don't understand But don't you chain me Or little train me And you'll have me eating out of your hand So don't forget That I'm a wildcat And we'll just get along fine The wildcats what they name me No kittens gonna tell me Oh no That's what they name me, no kids gonna tell me, no, no. Sweet. I like to kiss them, but I can't break away from all of these chains. 
Shimmy, Shimmy. The song just wouldn't be effective if it were sorted out, so. Jahre ist es nun her, dass die Beatles hier im Indra Club das allererste Mal auf deutschem Boden ein Konzert gegeben haben. Und diesen Augenblick gilt es jetzt wieder zu beleben und zwar mit Hilfe dieser vier Herren aus den Vereinigten Staaten, nämlich von, mit Hilfe von Mark, Ira, Eric und Duck. Welcome to Hamburg, Germany, guys. Hey, it's good to be here. 
It's good to have the Bambi Kino here, and perhaps you could explain us first of all that the Bambi Kino is just a project. Usually, you're also performing in other bands. So, could you please like introduce yourself and then which band you're playing, and why exactly are you participating on this project? Hmm. Well, um, I'm Mark, and I play in a band called Maplewood with with Ira, who also plays in other bands. And when we um, we were together here on tour last fall and walking around the St. Pauli area of, of Hamburg, and, and we kind of got the idea that it would be great to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the Beatles' first gig here, which was August 17th, 1960, and now it's August 17th, 2010, and the show is about to happen in a couple of hours, and uh, here we are. We, we can't believe it. And uh, I'm uh, Ira, and I, I play uh, my usual uh, job is to play the drums in uh, in the Not a Surf uh, rock combo. Um, and uh, like Mark said, we were on tour with Maplewood, and we stood outside wondering why, if there were, and it was going to be a band playing on this particular night, and we we got here first. So, uh. I'm Eric, and uh, my day job is I play with a singer called Cat Power, and uh, do a lot of touring with her and then I also play with a guy named Harper Simon. I've sat in with Maplewood on occasion and I have my own band called the Paparazzi and Ira's kind of sat in on that and we've all kind of known each other through the scene in New York. I was approached by Mark and I guess he and Ira had this idea and it seemed like a good thing to do. <laughs> Hi, I'm Doug, and uh, I'm sitting down low here. Um, <laughs> uh, I play guitar in Bambikino, and um, I play live with Ira in Not A Surf sometimes in the States, and uh, he asked me to uh, consider being in, in the Bambikino project. I have my own solo band in New York, uh, just under my name, and uh, I've been in other bands. I was a with a long time with uh, Guided by Voices, which is a band um, we have played in Germany before and had a lot of records out. Um, and I've also known uh, Mark through the years, and uh, I've known Eric for a couple of years as well. So, Now, I could witness some of your rehearsals earlier, and I was kind of confused because I remember Over the Rainbow, that wasn't a Beatles <laughs> song. I mean, is, how, how come you rehearsed that song? What has that to do with the Tonight? Uh, that was a, a pretty standard number. They would do that, uh, the drummer, uh, Pete Best, the original drummer before Ringo. Would, uh, they, w they each had uh, sort of, uh, you know, sort of oddball numbers. The drummer would come up, and one of the numbers, supposedly, that he sang, that we never don't have a recording of it, was "Over the Rainbow." A very strange. But the Beatles played a lot of strange. Well, off they had to fill they six, had a seven lot of hours time. a night of yeah. music. Yeah, they were playing, you know, five, and six, seven hours sometimes a night, and they had to go deep into things that they knew. They would play things by Fats Waller, "Your Feet's Too Big," and strange, you know. Uh, uh, um, that Marlena Dietrich song we've been talking about. Uh, uh, so yeah, they had to entertain people for a long time, and that meant pulling up some weird, I mean, everyone loves Somewhere Over the Rainbow. They do. And they we do. did our research, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> we play songs only that uh, they did. I mean, we're not playing anything that they, they haven't ever uh, played live, and some things aren't recorded, some things we've just seen on set lists that uh, have been archived, but so they weren't recorded. Some things have been recorded live, of course, the Star Club recordings and Decca auditions. My name is Herrn Bambi Kino. Thank you. Well, I got a baby crazy for me. Now I got a baby.
welcome back to the show. This is a slow dance number. They say, they 
say you've never, 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 ever been true. Cheat, cheat. Oh, oh. It doesn't matter what they say. I know I'm gonna love you any old way. What can I do when it's true? give the audience a round of applause.
Hold me close and tell me how you feel. Tell me that it's real. one that the, uh, the Beatles did pretty early on, 1960. They might have played it 50 years ago tonight in this very room. Um, it's one of those ones they were playing around that time, sometimes to the accompaniment of, of dancers <laughs> of a certain kind. Uh, special uh, female kind. Yes, yeah, like those mud wrestling pictures Stephanie likes to carry around. With her. <coughs> yeah. All right, we got some I'm more to do. Oh, you know, know I just remembered. Those are the kinds of pictures that keep you up late at night, you know? It's hard to, yeah. Okay. This harmonica is about shots, but we're, uh, can't read it. Okay, we're going to give it another, another go. This is a Chuck Berry song that uh, doesn't really sound like a Chuck Berry song. 
So it goes like this. <laughs> Search all over town from door to door. Love I crave, I can't find no more. I gotta find my baby. Well, I declare that it'll lie. I ain't having no good loving since that woman said goodbye. You know, I hate to see the sun sink into the west. Cause I know my life's gonna be one solid mess. I gotta find my baby. Say goodbye. Well, ever since the day that she said we were through, I've been nervous and shook up too. I gotta find my baby. Well, I declare that in a lie. I ain't having no good loving since that woman said goodbye. Charles Berry from St. Louis. We've got special friends from St. Louis in the back. Aaron and Henry flew all the way from St. Louis. Beautiful married couple. I see a hand. Ein Hand. All right. Uh, you know, this week is a, there's another uh, anniversary this week, which is, uh, which is, you know, the, uh, <clears throat> which is the, the passing of Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll. And any Elvis fans in the room tonight? Yes. Uh, you know, if there weren't, if there was no Elvis, there'd probably not be a Beatles. And there wouldn't be a Bambi Kino. Don't get so. shown. Don't get shown very much. If That's there right. was no Elvis, there would be no peanut butter and banana sandwiches. That's right. With jelly and bacon. Bacon probably wouldn't exist at all. There'd be no oh. Okay. So we, um, we started messing around with this the other day. And it's Elvis's first single came out, it was recorded in July of 1954, and it's called That's All Right, Mama. And it goes something like this. You can sing along. Sing along. Sing along. Sing along. Dance. Sing along. Sing dance. You've been faking it this whole time? <laughs> That's all right for you. That's all right, Mama. Just any way you're doing it, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right now, Mama. Any way you do. Well, Mama, she done told me. Papa done told me too. So now, cow, you're fooling with. She ain't no good for you, but that's all right.
you very much. song from the great Mr. Buddy Holly and the Beatles love and we also love Keeping with the uh, recurring cat theme in the set. Cats in cat song. Yeah. Yeah. This one also, I hate to tell you this, but if you're German, you have to dance on this one. Yeah, there's a rule about that. There's a rule. I hate. Look, you know what? If you don't dance, we'll turn off the beer supply. You don't want that to happen, trust me. Because this music sounds a lot better if you, you know, have a beverage. Y'all ready to dance? You're gonna make me yeah. scream! Top of your 
so much fun learning these songs and now finally getting to play them for you guys and we've been really having a lot of fun with um, learning songs that we know that the Beatles played during this time but which they never recorded and no one ever recorded them doing it and this is one of our favorite songs by, um, by uh, Rick, Nel Rick Nelson that they did back then. We don't, I don't know if we know who sang it in the band but we've been uh, messing around with it a little bit. To cry their heartaches away And they call it lonesome time Where the broken heart stays You can find a dream or two To last you all Thank you, Sam. Mark Rosso. All right, all right, we've got a couple more for you guys. I know you guys are all dying to get home. Um, here's another one that uh, they did early on. And they probably did it right here in the Indra 50 years ago. This, is the, this actually was the number that, um, that was uh, Pete Best's audition number for the Beatles the week before they came to Hamburg in August of 1960. So Pete was only in the band for about a week at that time. And this was a, this was a, pretty, big, a pretty big song in the British charts at that time, and we've been working on it. And let's hear it for Pete Best, too, because without Pete yeah. Best, there yes, is no Where's Pete Best tonight? Yeah. Hello. Yes. Pete, 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 Pete. We want Pete. Pete. We want Pete. Uh, it goes like this.
much. Come back tomorrow and the next day. I said, hey. Mississippi down in New Orleans, I said, hey, 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 yeah. hey, 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 yeah. I said, hey, hey, yeah. hey, 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 yeah. Hey, hey, yeah. Well, come on, everybody, take a walk with me. Now listen to the music with the Dixie Land. Mississippi down in New Orleans.
so much.